Welcome everybody. Today we go on a very special adventure. The first one of this kind on this channel. Today we do a Pokemon Violet Shiny Badge Quest. But if you could like and subscribe that would truly mean a lot. Now the rules for this badge quest are very simple. I must catch at least one shiny Pokemon before I can move on to the next badge. Now unlike most games, we would normally only have the 8 gym leaders. But in Paldea, we actually have 18. We have the normal 8, we have the 5 Team Star battles, as well as the 5 Titan battles. So that means we are going to have 18 different shinies by the end of this video, 3 full teams, and we're going to have lots of fun doing it. So like all good stories, we meet our hero, walking out of their home. We're quickly confronted with the tough decision. How are we going to start this shiny badge quest? We've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things, since in these games, the starter Pokemon are shiny locked. But with the help of some sort of ultra wormhole time warp that only Arceus may be able to explain, we will actually receive all three starters and a ditto and have a random encounter with whichever shiny shows up first. But now for the tough decision on how who we will pick to start out this playthrough. And if you're unsure, oh, and if you're unaware, Poi Coco is my boy. He is the one I picked in my first playthrough. It's gonna be the one I pick every single time. After the cutscene, we have to battle Nimona. Which we take care of pretty easily. And after we've beaten Amona, we make our way along the path, which where we hear a strange noise. And as we investigate, we notice a strange Pokemon on the shore. Oh no. We fall and make our way towards the strange beast. And it looks tired, so we must feed it a sandwich. Because that's what all good Pokemon trainers do when we see a Pokemon in need, right? And it must have done something, because it got him right up, and whoa. He looks powerful. But now he's ready to explore the cave. I guess we're going to follow him. Oh no, a hound doom. We only have this really low level starter Pokemon. This could be bad. Oh man, he looks pretty menacing. Oh great, okay. Maridon's gonna save the day.
Oh no, we're gonna get overrun. Uh oh, I'm surrounded. And our hero Maridon saves us yet again. And look, Nimona showing us how to get out of the cave. I don't know what I'd do without you two. And we meet Nimona at the top of the structure. And then we make our way to the lighthouse. Which where we meet Arvin. And we quickly defeat him, and he gives us the Maridon Ball. We meet Nimona at the top of the lighthouse. And now we're on our way to the academy to get our first day of school out of the way. Great, now that we've gotten through all that, let's get this ultra wormhole going. Meet up with my past self. Get the two other starters I do not have, as well as a ditto. And now this is where I was confronted with the first problem, or one of the first problems, and I had to decide. I am going to take advantage of every possible shiny hit chance I can get. So for this playthrough, I will be using sandwiches. Not to discredit anyone that chooses to put the time in that does it otherwise. Time is just a very valuable thing and I didn't have all that much and I wanted to do this challenge for you guys. So that was my justification. Hopefully you guys still have fun. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put all three in the bag with that ditto and we're just gonna start breeding box after box and then we're gonna have that shiny and it's gonna be our partner for this adventure. So many eggs, so many eggs. Man, I really just want a shiny Fue Coco. Just want to say I picked the right starter from the start, you know? That'd be pretty cool. Shiny Quaxley. All right, well, that's the end of that challenge. So we got to train up Quaxwell Jacob Freeman real quick. And I spent some time battling some random Pokemon to level up Quaxly. And this young goose should be enough to finally get it to evolve. And yes, it's evolving. Great, and now that we've leveled him up, I think it's time that we take on our first badge of the playthrough. And for this one, we're going to go after Cloth. Not only is it one of the easier battles, but it gives me a little bit of an advantage with Maridon, so that's why we're going to do it first. And after it finds some Herba Mystica, 
Arvin comes running out of nowhere. And now it's time to battle. And that's super effective. And we're going to go ahead and hit it with round two. Which was once again super effective for the knockout. And there we go, we've defeated Cloth. Now let's see if we can find any Herba Mystica that's left for Arvin and his super top secret project that he won't tell us about. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. and the Stony Cliff Titan has been defeated. And Arvin made us a nice delicious sandwich. And of course. Man, you feed a dog once, they come back every single time. Whoa, what was in that sandwich? Yes, of course, we'll search for the remaining Herba Mysticas for you. Coast is clear. What are you hiding?
All right, and now with that, now what will this journey hold next for our hero? What shinies will we see? I don't know, but I guess next you'll have to tune in next time as our journey continues. <laughs>